Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabijina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'audhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Rabbish rahli sadri Wa yasir li amri Wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqahu kawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in inshallah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. I have written again on the board, huh, brothers and sisters, what we studied yesterday. Inshallah, you are more comfortable now than before. And after today's session, you will say that maful and mutlaq is easy to understand. And truly speaking, it's easy, except that there are many things that we have to remember, especially uh, when the master is, uh, is being deputized by so many different things, you know. So we have to uh, have this idea in our mind, what kind of situations are there where the master is deputized by something else, huh? Inshallah you will remember and uh, uh, it will become part of your uh, you know, memory and when you will study Quran, you'll, you will enjoy it and you will be very comfortable Inshallah. So we finish the main lesson, we come to the second, I'm leaving aside the questions, I hope you will do it at home, study the lesson a couple of times and then answer them and I'm quite confident that most of you are very, very capable of answering them correctly. If you have any problem, then we have Hallo Tamarin. Hmm? So 
to take uh, help from. Waradi fi haza darsi amsilatan lil mafool al mutlaq. Yesterday, brother and sister, we read the key, and we understood everything in English. The same thing we are reading now in Arabic, so it shouldn't be difficult. Al mafool al mutlaqu master. What is it? It's a master. Okay. Yuthkaru. It is mentioned. Bada feeling after the verb in the sentence. Min lafzihi. From its verb, the master comes from the verb which is occurring in the sentence. For what reason? Taqidan limanahu for emphasizing the meaning of it. Au or bayanan li adadihi to indicate the number of times the action took place. Au bayanan. Now, ahi, to indicate or show the type, the kind, the quality of action. Wakad yakunu badalan, and it may be a substitute. Menat talafuzi. What is the meaning of talafuzi? Pronunciation. Be fi'alihi. So this is, you know what happens when you say shukran. Okay? You say shukran. Now shukran is a substitute for the verb which was not mentioned. Are you with me? This is the meaning of it. وَقَدْ يَكُونُ بَدَلًا مِنَ التَّلُفُّزِ مِنْ فِعَلِهِ you don't have it? Okay. I have it in my book. <laughs> okay. So what do you have? After Bayanan? Okay. So Dr. Saab has improvised this. But Kad Yakunu Naiban Unfairly. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Okay. Uh, okay. So, kad yakunu naiban unfairly. And this is what I have written here, brother, sisters. Fine. Fal awalu, what is the first brother and sister? Nah, for example. Wa kallam allahu musa takliman. Kallama yukallimu, what is the master? Why was Takhliman used to emphasize? Huh? This was pure emphasis. Huh? Pure emphasis. And what is the Vasani? Darabani. Darabani waladu Darabatin. So here, Darabatin is Mansu, brothers and sisters. So it describes how many times the action took place. The boy beat me many times. He hit me many times. He hit me many hits. He hit me many hits. Okay. So what is Darabatin here? It is from Daraba. What is Darabatin? Li bayani adata. Mafulun mutlaq. Li bayani Adat. Number third, brother. Vasalisu. Nah. Hafistul Quran. Hifzan jayidan. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So here, as you can see, Hifzan is a master from Hafiza. And with that, a nath has come. So when you have a situation like that, uh, so there is emphasis there. Hafistul uh, Qur'ana hifzan. There is an emphasis there. I memorized the Qur'an with good memory, you know, excellent memory. Okay. But when you see jaidan, 
So it's so easy, brother. Whenever you see Naat or Mudaf Ilahi coming after Maful Mutlaq, it will refer to Libayani now. So easy, brother and sister. Another uh, sentence is there. Qara Ahmadu Darsa Kiraata Fahimin. So Kiraata is your Mafulun Mutlak from Qara'a Yakarau Kiraatun or Kiraatan. But then is a, it is a Mudaf. And Fahimin is Mudaf ili. So this also will refer to Mafulun Mutlak Li. Bayani now. Fine, brothers and sisters. Warabiyo, Mahalan, which is like Shukran, okay? Sabran, Afwan. So these are all, you know, masters, but without the mention of the verb. So what will you say? Majukalu lahu, it is said. Al Mastarun Naibu and Fialihi. For Mahalan Nab and Fialihi. Imhal is your Amar, Fialu Amrin. Kada Yanubu and Il Master Ma Yadulu Alehi. Sometimes a word may deputize for the Master. This is the meaning of it, brothers and sisters. For Yuta, what is the meaning of Yuta? It is given hukmahu, it's ruling. Fi kaunihi, in making it or in becoming it, mansuban. Then it becomes that word which deputizes the master becomes mansub. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ala annahu, because, ala annahu means. Brothers and sisters, because. Allah huh? annahu, because it is mafulun mutlak now. The thing that deputizes the master has become now mafulun mutlak. Min ha, from them, we have kullu, ba'du, wa'ayyu, mudafatan. These are coming as mudaf. Elal Mastari. Are you with me? Examples, brothers and sisters? Akhazani. Akhazani al Mudiru Bad al Muakhazati. The Mudir punished me to some extent. To some extent, he punished me. Okay? Okay, brothers and sisters? So, where is your mafulun mutlak? Ba'da. And, and where is your actual master from akhada? Mu'akhazati. How will you describe it? Mafulun mutlak? Naibun? Anil master. I have written meme dot meme dot, which is mafulun mutlak. You see, brother and sister? Huh? I'll, huh? You will say, in short, I've written mim mim naibun anil masta. That will be your explanation. Huh? Okay? Fine. And then, next one is, brother and sisters, arifuhu kulla marifati. So, Arafa Yarifu. And where is the master? Ma'rifatun. Well, what is Ma'rifatun? Master Mimi, you got to get used to it now. What is it? Master Mimi. Huh? I again remind you, brothers and sisters, when you have a master Mimi, especially from Fel Fulasi Mujarat, then there is another master existing. Huh? And master Mimi is an, another master for that verb. For example, I gave you a couple of examples yesterday, brothers and sisters. Um, <clears throat> let's take this. Arafa Yarifu. What is the master? 
irfanun. Huh? And then you became, you, you come to ma'rifatun. Okay. Gafara, yagfiru, gufranun. When you say maghfiratun, it's your master, Mimi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. And I will give you more examples, inshallah, as we come along. Watch for Master Mimi from now onwards, brothers and sisters, in our study. Sayalamu Lazina Zalamu Ayya Munkalabin Yankalibun. Now, brothers and sisters, Ayya has come. Ayya Munkalibin. So what is Munkalibin? Oh, it is the Master Mimi. Now this is Master Mimi from Mazid Fihi. It is very simple. It is on the pattern of Ism Maf'ul. It is on the pattern of Ism Maf'ul. So it's so very easy. Inshallah. You will remember it. Now we come to the next one. Number two, brothers and sisters. Adaduhu. Nahu, for example, Zurtuhu Thalatha Ziyaratin. Three visits. So we have Zara Yazuru Ziyaratan. So here we have the Jama of Ziyaratan, which is Ziyarat. Ten. Uh, here it is of course majroor because it is from 3 to 10. It is coming as a madud from 3 to 10. So it is mudaf ilayhi. It is majroor and it is jama. So how will you describe this brother? So salasa is your mafulun mutlaq naibun anil mastari. Got the idea? Where is your master? Ziyaratin. Huh? Very good. Darabtuhu, I hit him. Ishrina darbatan. So darbatan is your tamiz here. But it is also the master from Daraba Yadribu. So how will you describe Ishreen? See, Ishreen is mansub here. Mafurun mutlaq, naib anil master. Huh? Inshallah, if you'll revise it one more time this evening, you should be very, very comfortable, inshallah. Sifatuhu, brothers and sisters, now comes to adjectives. Now, Sa'atuhu, I helped him. Ahsana musa'adati. Ahsanal musa'adati. Okay, you have a different? Gosh, my book is old. <laughs> what is the sentence? Fahim tu darsa jayidan. Okay. Gosh, I must, I must check my new book also. <laughs> I can see here. Fahim tu darsa jayidan. So, brother, what is jayidan? It, it is a it is here maful and mutlaq, but actually it is fahman jayidan. So jayidan is your naat. Huh? Are you with me? What is it doing here? It's naib and master. Naib and master. Anil master. Okay. Number four. Ismul master. And you know ismul master. The word which has the same meaning as master, but with less letters. Kalamtu huh? kalaman. Now, what is Ismul master here? Kalaman. What is the actual master? Kalamtu takhleeman. So, brothers and sisters, what will you say? In this particular case, Ismul mastari. What will you say? Ismul mastari naibun anil master. And then I put 
dot 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 in that dot 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 you will write the actual master are you with me when you will describe it then you will write down the actual master which should have been there but it is not there somebody else deputize it and what is that ismul master hmm? ismul master ismun yadullu alama yadullu alayhi master walakin hurufuhu aqallu minhi but the letters are less in it huh? fatawaddu but then she says fatawaddu what is this tawaddu master, master from from five, tawadda, ya tawadda, okay, which is a master. And what is wudu? It will be ism master. Got the idea? Same meaning. Huh? Next one, brothers and sisters. Wat takbilu, which is from kabbala you kabbilu, takbilu. What is it? Master. And then we have Al Kublatu, which will be Ismul Master. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Number five, what is number five? Number five should become our favorite now. Huh? What is it, brothers and sisters? Cognate Master. Huh? There are two kinds. Dr. Sab has again done it in the new book at the end of the lesson. We are going to go through that. Briefly, brothers and sisters, what is cognate master? Two kinds. The verb is from mazid fihi. And the master is from form one. Huh? That is one. Then number two is that verb is from mazid fihi. But the master is also from mazid fihi, but from different bab. That's it. That is the meaning of al mastaru yulakihi filishtika. Huh? Means they meet in the derivatives. Okay? They are related to each other in their roots. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Wa tabattal ilayhi. Tabatilan. Brothers and sisters, what is Tabattal? Filamar, from Form 5. What is the master of Tabattal? Tabattulun. Tabassumu. Huh? Fine. And we have here Tabatilan. Form 2. Huh? So, this is also possible. Okay? If it is like this, what will you say? You will say, Al Mastaru Yulakihi Filishtika. That master okay, meets uh, it in der derivatives. Huh? Inshallah. Means the roots are same. Different barbs. Huh? Okay. More, more examples will come later on, brother and sister. Now, Ismu Ishara, our favorite, Badal. Okay, in this case, the badal is the actual master, but Ismu Shara is deputizing it. Akulta huh? hazal kaula. Did you say this thing? So, brother, you don't have it. Gosh, I today, it's not my day. <laughs> what is it now? Okay, fine. Huh? I should keep two books together. Atastakbiloni hazal istikbala. See, istakbala and istikbal. So that is your master. That is proper. But haza has come. So what is haza now? Mafulun mutla. How will you describe it? Mafulun mutlak, naibun anil master. And what is after haza? Badal. That will be your badal, huh? inshallah.
Number eight, Damiruhul Aidu Ilehi. Now here the Damir is deputizing the master. Ishtahattu Ishtihadan Lam Yashtahid Hu Ghairi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, there are two mafulun mutlaq. First is ishtihadan. That is proper there. Okay? And then, lam yashtahid hu, which is actually lam yashtahid ishtihadan. So, who is coming in place of ishtihad? Means uh, master. I gave you a beautiful example yesterday. Do you remember that, brothers and sisters? What was it? Got the idea? I love Allah with the love that I don't love anybody else. With that kind of a love. Huh? So then, who can also deputize a master? Inshallah. You will remember that. Huh? Remember the sentence which is very beautiful, Inshallah. Muradifuhu. What is the Muradifu? Synonym. You have a master, but it is not the, the same, from the same verb. Ishtu, Asha Yaishu, Ishtu. I lived Hayatan Saidatan. I lived a happy life. Brother, actually, if you are using Asha Yaishu, the master is Ishatan. But the meaning of Ishatan and Hayatan is the same. Huh? So it means we used a synonym for the actual master. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Yajuzu hasfu amilil mafulil mutlaki dali ala nawi wa adadi. It is permissible to drop the amil after mafulun mutlak. What is amil? Remember, we studied in lesson number one in book three agent. Which is a verb. Okay, so in other words, you are using mafulun mutlak with uh, an adjective, but you are dropping the 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 agent amil. Huh? Now remember, it can be it can come for uh, li bayani now, or it can come for li bayani adat. It is quite possible it will come in. Both forms. So when you say Kuduman Mubarakan, what does it mean? Kadinta. Biani now. Kadinta Kuduman Mubarakan. So where is Kadima? Is Mahzuf. Huh? Inshallah. It's very easy, brothers and sisters. You will be able to figure out, inshallah. And number three, exercise number three. We have already done it. We did it yesterday in detail. So I'm leaving it. Uh, I will request you to do it on a f nice sheet of paper so that you have a clear-cut idea. Huh? Some of you are sc scribbling uh, uh, notes here and there. If you get a time, do it nicely on a piece of paper huh? in your notebook, inshallah. Okay, another nice exercise, brothers and sisters. Ayyin. Ayyin al-maf'ool al-mutlaka fi ma'yati. Specify mafulun mutlak. Wazkur nawahu. And describe its kind. This is a very interesting and beautiful exercise, brothers and sisters. Ya yuhal ladhina manuskurullah zikran kathiran. Brothers and sisters, where is our mafulun mutlak? Zikran. What is kathiran? Not. How will you describe this? Al-Mafulul Mutlaku Li Bayani Now. 
whenever you see an adjective or mudafilahi coming, it is li bayani now. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, I want to describe to you the analysis of this. Briefly, brothers and sisters. Ya, what is ya? Harfunida. If there is a harfunida, there has to be a munada. Where is munada? Ayu. What is munada? Ayu. What is this ha coming after ayu? No. This is called, what is it called, brothers and sisters? Harfu huh? tanbi. Tanbi means drawing somebody's attention. Huh? This is a harfu tanbi. Particle of drawing attention. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, ya harfu nida, ayu munada. I am just telling you briefly. Okay? We can still go in further detail, but some other time, inshallah. Ha is harfu tanbi. What is the ladina? It is a mausul. Now, it can come as a nath, it can come also as a badal. Huh? Sometimes you will see. In the books, it is described as a badal for ayu, or sometimes it is described as a nath for ayu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay, fine. So, Alladina ismu mausu. What is amanu? Amanu. Now, this is uh, this is jumla failure. What kind of a verb is this? Form four. Huh? Amana yuuminu. Amana yu'minu. Huh? This is form four. Amana, amana, amanu. Huh? Okay. Fe'lun madin babnun ala dhamma. Huh? Dhamma. Dhamma. That's it. It is there. Zahir. Okay. And then, where is the file? Wow. What is this alif doing here? Alif of vikaya. Alif of protection. I'm sure we studied it, but you have forgotten. Alifu vikaya. It comes in the third person, plural, huh? masculine. Okay, fine. And it can also come in mudaria also. It can come in amar also. But mostly with third person, masculine. Fine. Okay, what is now, brothers and sisters? So, amanu is jumla failure. Uh, coming as a silatul mausul uh, for Allazina. Fine. What is Bada Uthkuru? Fellow Hamarin Mabniun Allah Adhfinu. And where is the file? Vav is the file. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And again the Aleph has come, which is Alif Vikaya. Uh, fine. What is Allah? Mafulun bihi. Uh, you know that. Mafulun bihi. What is Zikran? Mafulun mutlaka. Zakara yathkuru zikran. And what is kasiran? Naad. So what will you say? What we are required here to write is describe the kind. So what will you say? Mafulun mutlak li bayani nawi. This is the way, inshallah, when we get an opportunity, we will analyze some verses of the Quran, inshallah. And we may even go in detail, inshallah. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. Sa'alanit talibu. Translation, brother. The student asked me. Huh? What did he ask? Su'alan nahviyina. Nahviyina is a plural. Huh? It is a plural. And it is mudaf ilahi. It is jamma mudakar salim. And it is mudaf ilahi. How will you translate it? Brother, you will say, the student asked me a question of a grammarian. He asked me a question of a grammarian. Ajabtuhu. Fa ajabtuhu. So I answered it. What is this ajabtu? What kind of verb is this, brothers and sisters? Form 4. What is the verb? Ajaba yujibu. Ajaba yujibu. Huh? So, ajab to who? And I replied. What kind of a reply I gave? Who is mafulun bihi? Ajab to who? Who mafulun bihi? Ijabata. So, what is ijabata? That is your mastar. Huh? Mafulun. Mafulun mutlak. 
Yes, Amir? Yes, you are right. Sual is also mafulun mutla because sa'ala yas sa'ala yas alu and then sual is also mafulun mutla. That is correct. So how will you say sual and nahviyina? Sister Abir? Mudaf mudafile has come. What will you say? Li bayani now. Li bayani now, remember, either it is not or it is mudafilihi. Sister Maimuna, will you remember when not comes after mafulun mutlaq or a mudafilihi comes after mafulun mutlaq, both of these situations will indicate mafulun mutlaq li bayani nawi. Please remember. Huh? Yes. Correct, you are very right. It looks like mafulun bi. But when the master comes, huh, then we call it mafulun mutla. Huh? Are you with me? Yeah. It, is, it is how the, uh, in, in, in grammatical expression it is called. But you are absolutely right. Swal looks like mafulun bihi. But here the, the scholars of grammar call it mafulun mutla. Okay, because it is coming from the same root. Got the idea, Sister Abhi? Huh? It, it is coming from the same root. See, for example, Kulta Hazal Kaula. There was an exercise there. It's mo- I, you don't have it, I have it in my book. Huh? Okay, Kultu Hazal Kaula. Let's go to the Quran example, brother and sister. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu attaqullaha wa qulu kawlan. So here kawlan, maybe it is mafulun bihi. Kulu kawlan. But then it is here mafulun mutlaq. So this is how the scholars of grammar describe it. Inshallah you will get a good idea after you revise few times, and you will not uh, get confused, inshallah. Huh? Where are we now, brothers and sisters? Fine. Ijabat al Mufassirina. Ijabat al Mufassirina. What is Mufassirin, brothers and sisters? Those who make commentaries. Huh? Those who do the commentaries of the Quran. Okay? Who write the commentary of the Quran. We say tafsir, which is commentary. Huh? So, what is tafsir? It's, it's a, it's a master. What is the verb? Fassara. Fassara, you, you fassiru. Make ism file? Mufassiru. Then mufassiruna. And then mufassi? Reena. Got the idea? It is ism file from form 2 and it is jama mudakar salim. So can you see here also sister Mamuna? Ijabatal mufassirina. So how will you describe it? Libayani now. Libayani now. Another beautiful Quranic verse, brothers and sisters. Very beautiful Quranic verse. Wallahu. What is Wallahu, brother? What is Wa? Harfuat. And what is Allahu? Muftida. Where is the khabar? The jumla failure. And what is that? Anbatakum. Anbatakum min al earth. Okay, brothers and sisters. Anbata is to grow. Okay, it's form four. It's form four. And what will be the master of anbata? In batu. In batu. If alun. Are you with me? If alun. Fine, brothers and sisters. So, wallahu anbatakum min al ardi nabatan. 
So what will you call Nabatan here? It's Mafulul Mutlaq. Huh? But it is not from the same, same verb. Huh? What is Nabatan? Nabata Yan Butu. Huh? Three letter verb. Nabata. Write down brothers and sisters. Maybe I should write it down. Huh? Nabata Are you with me? So here, brothers and sisters, Allah, He made you, means all of us, grow from the earth. Are you with me? He made us grow from the earth. Okay, fine. Now a khatib can speak volumes about this verse, you know, and, and describe how we grow from the earth, you know. Anyway, so what will you call it? Nabatan is Mafurun. For what you will you say Al Mastaru Yulakihi Felishtika. But what kind of a Mafulun uh, Mutlak it is? What will you call it? Littaukid, mashallah. May Allah bless you, Sister Abza, and all of us with more knowledge. Huh? It will be Litaukid. Huh? Got the idea? Litaukid. Fine. Thumma yu'idukum. What is the yu'idu? What kind of verb is this? A'ada yu'idu. Form 4. A'ada yu'idu. Then he returns you in it. Huh? Brother, this is describing our being put in the earth, which is our resting place. Okay. Wa, after that, and yukri jukum, and he takes you out. Ikhra jan. Mafulun matlaq. See? Akhraja yukri ju ikhra jan. So we have. Two maful mutlaq in this verse, brothers and sisters. Nabatan, okay, and then ikhrajan. What will you say to ikhrajan? Maful mutlaq, li taqid. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? See, now, you just simply cannot translate these things. One has to know the language, and there's an there's a eloquence, and beauty, and sweetness, and magic in these words, brothers and sisters. Only when we understand. And then we can feel it in our heart. After you have understood it, whenever you will recite it, you will understand directly. And whenever you will hear Quran being recited, you will feel it in your heart because each and every word now means something to you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, Allah will bless us with the knowledge so that we can feel the Quran in our hearts, inshallah. Number four, brothers and sisters. Atakuluna thurasa aklan lamman. What is the meaning of this? What is thurasa? Yes, but what is the meaning of thurasa? Inheritance. Inheritance. And brothers and sisters, somebody has left an inheritance, and there are many people who are going to share that inheritance. Uh, but what he does, he, he eats everything, he takes everything greedily. Are you with me, one sister? He takes not his own share, but everybody's shares, you know, because he's powerful. He's strong, nobody can challenge him, beat him, okay, fight with him. So, brother, ta'kuluna. Are you with me, brother and sister? Ta'kuluna, you understand? Fialun mudarion. Marfoon bi sabutinun. Where is the file? Wow. And Allah Ta'ala is addressing us. Antum. Ta'kuluna turasa. 
مفرون بھی وہ کہ بدن سے سر اکلن اٹ از دا مسٹر فرام دا سیم ورڈ اکلا یا کولو اکلن اینڈ دین لمن واٹ از لمن دس از نو اکلن از دا مفول المطلق اوکے فار تاکید لمن از دا نات سو ہاؤ ول یو ڈسکرائب اٹ لی بیانی ناؤ لی بیانی ناؤ آر یو وت می بدن سسٹرس اوکے دا میننگ از دیٹ یو you eat you devour the whole inheritance with greed this is all for myself nobody else you know even though you are only a part owner of that inheritance huh? okay brothers and sisters what to habuna and you love what do you love <laughs> wealth how do you love hubban jamman with so much of love absorbing love you know uh, it is you become obsessed with it your love is has turned into obsession you know and that's the way you love your wealth uh, so brothers and sisters now you should tell me you have boon what form of verb is this form four ahabba yohib fine balance what is the master of ahabba ihbabun but what kind of a master is here hubban this is form one huh? so of course it is maful mutlaq and jamman you gather it huh? you gather your wealth you collect your wealth also with greed huh? okay and uh, uh, how will you describe it libayani now but at the same time we are not asked but if we were asked then you will say hubban uh, is al mastaru yulaki he fil ishtikaq and then you can also describe the actual master you know which is ihba but we are not asked for it but at least we understand very clearly absolutely clearly we understand what's going on in the sentence see this is quran and you are understanding every bit of it now alhamdulillah huh? so my question is that just we have to uh, describe mafhoom mutlaq in that four ways these rest ways if someone asks then we describe yeah if the question is to describe only the kind then we are only describing the kind huh? Uh, which is libayani now but if you are asked to describe further uh, then you will say uh, that it is al mastaru yulakihi fil ishtikaq and then you can even further describe that hubban is from habba yahibbu and uh, the verb in the sentence is ahabba yuhibbu huh? are you with me form 4 and the master is from form 1 if you are asked but at least we understand it huh? inshallah number 5 sajattu sajdataini what will you say libayani adat simple brother huh? huh fine sajada brothers and sisters what is sajada verb what is the master of sajada sujood make it master marra sajadatun what is it sajadatun are you the faalatun got the idea because it is masterul marati keep that in mind also inshallah thumma this is verse of the quran thumma inni alantu lahum wa asrartu lahum israran Okay. Now this is a verse from Surah Nuh. This is the statement by Prophet Nuh, alayhi salatu salam. Further, I have spoken to them in public and also in private, secretly. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, what is the verb? Tell me the verb. 
Form four. What is the verb? That is there. Okay. One is the alana. Huh? That is the verb. And also there is a What is the verb? Asarra, like ahabba. Huh? Asarra. Okay, that is why it is asrartu. Huh? Because you come to hunna, what will happen? Asrarna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You will break the idgham when you have mutaharik pronouns coming as a file. Very good, brothers and sisters. So how will you describe israran? Taqid. Because it is only, Sister Arifa, it is only pure Taqid. Huh? Okay? Nothing else has been added to the master. Finally. Call a shairu. A poet says, what does he say? Fasabran. Now what is this? Sabran. Only the master has come. No verb. What will you say? Fine. Okay. Al Mastaru Naib and Fi'ali. That is the kind. So what is missing here? Isbir. What is it? Isbir Sabran. Isbir Sabran. This is a very nice <coughs> poem here, brothers and sisters. For sabran, fi majali mauti, sabran. For sabran, fi majali mauti, sabran. Means, have patience at the time of death. Have patience. Twice, it is used to emphasize it, brother. It is a, an extra emphasis. Okay? So, isbir sabran. Have patience at the time of the death, brothers and sisters. Fama nailul khuludi bi mustata'in. Okay. Fama. Fama. What kind of ma is this? This is ma al hijaziya. Yamalu amala laisa. The ma will have. Ismu ma marfu and khabar ma mansub. Okay, got the idea? What is nailu, brothers and sisters? Nala yanalu, to obtain. Nala yanalu. Huh? Write down the verb, brothers and sisters. Nala yanalu, huh? to obtain. Or gain. What is khulud? Khalada yakhludu khulud. Khalid is the ism file. Khalida is the monas form. Okay? But in sister, khulud means to live forever and ever. Immortality. Everlasting life. Okay? Now here somebody dies. Okay? And the poet is saying, have patience at the time of death. Huh? Because the obtaining of everlasting life is not possible. So why do you cry? When the obtaining of everlasting existence is not possible. So have patience. Okay. So brothers and sisters, what will you say? Nailu. It is ismuma al hijazia, marfu'un, wa huwa mudaf, and khuludi mudaf ilahi. Mustata'in. What kind of a word is this, mustata'in? Ism maful from form 10. Istata'a yastati'u. Okay? So this is your bi mustata'in, this is your jar majrur, shibbu jumla. 
في محل نسب خبر ما الهجازية Inshallah you will understand when you revise it you will understand it because all these things will come in the Quran and we have to understand when the use of ma comes it can be ma al-hijaziyah ya'malu amala laysa Inshallah we'll remember okay fine brothers and sisters number nine hajjan mabruran what is this? Hajjan Mabruran. Okay. So this is the same thing as Kuduman Mubarakan. Okay. This is the same thing. This is Hajjan Mabruran is your <coughs> Libayani now. Okay. And the uh, the verb Okay, is ma'zuf. Huh? What is the verb, brothers and sisters? You can say tahujju. What will you say? Tahujju hajjan mabruran. Or even if it is for more people, then you will say tahujjuna. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So amiluhu is ma'zuf. Amiluhu is ma'zuf. So hajjan is your Mafulun Mutlak, Libayani, now. Huh? And Amilu is the, the I just said, Tahujju or Tahujjuna, both can be right. What is the translation of this? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your Hajj. That is the meaning of it. Huh? Uh, that is the meaning of it. That may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your Hajj. So whenever somebody returns from Hajj, you know, we usually say Hajjan Mabruran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your Hajj. <coughs> number 10, brother, what is number 10? Tala Yatlu, to recite. Okay? Tala has another meaning also, but here the meaning is recitation. Tala Imamu, Imam recited. Tilawatan Jamilatan. Tilawatan Jamilatan. So Tilawatan, what is Tilawatan? Is the master from the verb Tala. So it is Mafulun Mutlak. But then followed by it is a Nath. So it's very simple, brother. Where will you put it? Lead Bayani now. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Another beautiful uh, uh, exercise we are doing brothers and sisters number five ajin al naiba an al maful al mutlak fi ma yati specify the deputy of the maful al mutlak in what follows huh? number one brothers and sisters fil hadith is a kumta fi salatika is a brothers and sisters is your Ismushat, Gairu Jazimin. And Kumta is your Fialushat. No, Kumta is Madi. But when you use Eza, the meaning is in present tense and in future tense. So what will you translate this? Eza, Kumta Fisalatika, when you perform your Salah. Fasalli, Fa has come. Alfau, Wakiatun, Fijawabishat. Why? Because Sali is Fialu Amar, Tufidu Talab. Huh? It indicates Talab. Okay. For Sali, Salata. Salata, brother and sister, is your uh, Mafulu Mutlak. But then this Salata is not the master of the Salah Yusalli. What is the master of the Salah Yusalli, brother and sister? Did I write it? Yes. Salah yes. Yusalli huh? is Tasliyatan. Are you with me? Salah Yusalli is Tasliyatan. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, it should have been Tasliyatan, but it is not. So now you have to describe huh, that Salata is Ismul Mafta. 
Huh? It's mul master. Uh, Naibun anil mastari. Huh? This is what you will describe. And this dot, 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 you will write down tasliyatan. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now, salata is your mafulun mutlak. Huh? It is mudaf. And what is mudaf ilahi? Muwaddi'in. Muwaddi'in. What is muwaddi'in, brothers and sisters? It is coming from the verb wadda'a. You wadda'u. Form 2. And muwaddi'in is ism file. Now what is the translation of the whole thing? Huh? If you perform your salah, pray huh? as if this is your farewell salat. You are not going to get any other chance to pray again. So pray with all your humility. Huh? With all your khushu and khudu. Are you with me? Brothers and sisters, that is the meaning of. Whenever we should pray, we should pray as if this is the, my last salah that I have time to pray. After that, I will not be praying any more salahs. Are you with me? So that is the meaning of this, that is the importance of the Salah uh, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is trying to point out to us, you know, that you pray as if this is your farewell Salat, last Salah on this planet, okay? Rawahu Ahmad Ibn Majah, okay? It is narrated by Ahmad and Ibn Majah. Number two, brothers and sisters, Fala tamilu kullal maili. What is the verb, brothers and sisters? Huh? I will write down the verb, okay? Mala huh? yamilu. To incline. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Mala yamilu. Huh? This is Ajwaf. What will you say Ajwaf? What kind of Ajwaf? al yai Mashallah. Huh? Fine. Fala Tamilu. What is Tamilu? Antum. 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 Huh? Fine. What is La? Nahia. It is La Nahia. See, we got to figure it out. Huh? This is Amar. Tufidu Amar. La Nahia. Tufidu Amar. Okay? So, brothers and sisters, Tamilu is your sister Maimuna, Fialun, Mudariun, Majzumun, Biyadafinu, Mashallah. That's the way we have to describe it. And wow is your file. Kulla. That is your Mafulun Mutlaka. And then it is deputizing the Master. So what will you say, brothers and sisters? Mafulun mutla naibun anil master. Got the idea? Inshallah. Very good. How will you translate? So do not lean towards the one with all the leaning. You know, do not give all your love to one person. If you have other spouses, then you got to be very fair. With all of them, inshallah. Okay. Number number third, brothers and sisters. Yatlu tala yatlu hazal kariu. But yatlu, what is yatlu? Fialun mudariya. Marfun. How will you say? Fialun mudariyun marfun. Pi dammatil mukaddara. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay. Hazal kariu. What is haza? Fail. And what is al kariu? Badal, mashallah. Huh? Tilawatan. Huh? Tilawatan. That is your huh? mafulun mutlaq. Huh? La yatlu ha. Gairuhu. Hmm? This kari recites the tilawat in a way no one else can recite like him. 
Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Yatluha, what is Ha? This is Mafulun Mutlaq. Damir, Ha is your Mafulun Mutlaq, which is deputizing the Master Tilavatan. I would rather request you to circle Ha and then bring it with a pencil, with a line to the Tilavatan. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Circle it and then bring that thing to Tilavatan. So you know this is deputizing. The Damir is deputizing the Tilavatan. Did you get my point? Yes. Uh, Inshallah. Uh, yeah. Number four. Ayya kitabatin. Taktubu. Kataba yaktubu. What is the master? Kitabatun. Uh, so, ayya kitabatin taktubu. Uh, which writing are you writing? Uh, or what kind of a writing are you writing? Okay. So, where is our mafulun mutla? Ayya. Uh, and then, kitabatin, it became mudafili. So, what will you say, brothers and sisters? Mafulun mutla, naib, anil masta. So, ayya is your mafulun mutla here. Straight away, mafulun mutla. Even though it is not a master, but it is deputizing the master. Alhamdulillah. Nahnu naqusthu alayka ahsan al qasasi. We are narrating to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best narration. The best narration. So, brother, where is Mafulun Mutlaq? Ahsana. Huh? See? Kassa Yakusu Kassasan. Okay? So, here, what is Ahsana then? Mafulun Mutlaq, but what is it? It is Nai, but what is it? It is Sifat. What is it? Naat. Huh? It is not, okay, naibun anil master. Sifatun naibun anil master. Are you with me? If I say sifatun, are you confused? Sifatun is same thing as not, adjective. So ahasana is an adjective here, okay? Fine, brothers and sisters. And if I were to tell you what kind of mafulun mutlak is, so you will say libayani. Now, you will say Yubiani now, fine. Again, this is from Quran, brother. The next one also is from Quran. Vaskurisma Rabbika. Vaskurisma Rabbika. And remember, or mention, remember the name of your Lord. Vatabattal, Vatabattal. Ilayhi tabtilan. Okay? Again, tabtilan is from form 2 and tabattal is form 5. Huh? So what will you say? Al-mastaru yulakihi filishtika. Okay? But, brothers and sisters, tell me one thing. If I were to ask you what kind of a maful mutlaq it is, how will you say? It is, it is taqid. It is li taqid. Very good, brothers and sisters. Hajashtu ishrina hajjatan. Hajashtu ishrina hajjatan. Okay. Hajjatan is tamiz. I agree with you. Okay. But also it is the master from hajja. Are you with me? It is the master. What kind of master is this? Masterul. Marrati, master denoting how many times the action took place. Hajjatan is your master, masterul marrati. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? And it is tamiz. Okay. But where is our mafulun mutlaq? Ishreen. The number is deputizing the master. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? The number is deputizing the master. Fine. So, uh, 
you will say, what will you say? Huh? Mafulun mutlak, naibun, anil master. Huh? So Ishreen is your now, mafulun mutlak, now. In this case, your mafulun mutlak is Ishreen. Fine. Number nine, brothers and sisters. Atu'amilu akhaka hadhil mu'amala. What kind of verb is this, brother and sister? To amilu. Form? Form three. Amala, you amilu. To treat someone, okay? Do you treat your brother this kind of a treatment? Huh? So, sister Abir, Aha is your mafulun bihi. Huh? And ka is mudafilihi. And what is the hazihi here? This is your mafulun mutlak. Huh? Okay? And what will be muamalat? This is your badal. Huh? So, amala you amilu and master will be muamalatun. Huh? Muamalatan you can say or muamalatun. Okay? So, <clears throat> can you see muamalata? Why it is ta? Mansu? Because hazihi is mansub. That is why the badal is mansub. And why is hazihi mansub? Because it is maful and mutlak. Uh, we got to think like that, uh, inshallah. Al muamalatu. Al muamalatu is the master of form three. Uh, amala, you amilu. Uh, shahada. You shahidu. What is the master? Mushahadatu. Uh, got the idea? Saada, you saidu. What is the master? Musaadatu. Uh, inshallah. You will remember that. Huh? Number nine is very beautiful, brothers and sisters. And I have to spend time. Every time I do this, I spend a lot of time on this, brothers and sisters. Call a shairu. Fakad yajamaullahu. Kad yajamaullahu. Shatita taini. Huh? <clears throat> what is shatita taini? Okay, but I have to explain this to you. Huh? <clears throat> Shatta. What is the verb? Shatta. The verb is shatta, brothers and sisters. It has got the same meaning is, as What is the meaning of tashashata? No, shatta is here tashitun. This is on the version of failun. You make ism file on the vazana failun, shatitun. Are you with me, brother and sister? Shatta tafarraka to separate, to be separated. Huh? That is the meaning, okay? To be separated. Tashitun is the person who has been separated. Shatitun. What is it? Shatta, shatitun. Make dual now, brother. Shati Tani. Shati Tani. Now make it Mansu. Shati Tani. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Shati Tani. It is Mansub here because it is Mafulun Bihi. <clears throat> now, yajmau. What is the meaning of yajmau? To gather or bring them together. To gather. Huh? Jama yajmau. Now, but the mudarya verb 
Yajmau and Kad has come. So what is the meaning of Kad here? Maybe. Perhaps. Huh? Maybe. Okay. So sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings them together. Who are those two people? Who have been separated? Huh? Shatitun Shati Tani Shati Taini. Got the idea? Shatitun Shati Tani Shati Taini. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes brings them together two separated individuals. Fine, brother and sister. Badama. After. What is Ma? Ma Masdariya. Ma Masdariya. Yazunani. They both think. Huh? Those separated people, they think. What do they think? Kulla Zanni. In all their thoughts. Huh? In all their thoughts. Huh? They thought that they will never meet again in their lives. Okay? An la talakia. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now I want to ask you what is talakia? No, you will not be able to figure out. I have to explain you, uh, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, I'll explain you. There's a lot of revision in this thing, brothers and sisters. Talaka. Got the idea? What is it? Talaka. Form 6. Make it mudarya. <coughs> Make it master. Okay. What is the normal form of master? Tafa ulun. Huh? But because this is nakis, huh? so the master will be tala ku yun. From this, it will become tala ki yun. And from this, it will become tala kin. Maybe some of you have forgotten. Are you with me? Sister So, so tala kin. Huh? When it is nakis, it is done like this. Okay? Tala kin. Huh? What is actually tala kin? Tala kiyum. Fine. And you know, this is mankus. When it is marfu, you will see tanwin kasra. Unless it is uh, coming with al. If it is not coming with al, you will see two, two kasras there. In the marfu form and in the majrur form, you will see two kasras. And then, if it is Mansu form, what will you see? Are you with me? You got to revise now. You are Mankus. Okay, Talaki and Fine. Okay. Now, I want you to understand. Talakin is the master. Okay. It's a noun. Huh? Meeting. Meeting, okay? Make it into Ismu la nafiyatu lil jins. Huh? Ismu la nafiyatu lil jins. Okay? What will become? Tala ki ya. Okay. In the poetry, for the sake of uh, the meter, when you consider the meters of different 
words, sometimes the last sign can be changed or last word can undergo some change. Only in poetry because you are taking into consideration the wasm and the meters, okay? So it becomes la This alif has only come because of the, uh, the reason of meters, wasan. La huh? talakia. Fine, brother. I am writing something else. You should write it. Okay. I told you it's very beautiful. And I am showing you in details, brothers and sisters, you know, otherwise uh, one cannot figure out what's going on in this one sentence, okay? So, Badama Yadunani Kulla Zanni. So, what is Kulla? Mafulun Mutlak. And where is the actual Mafulun Mutlak? Mada mudafili. Eh? An, brothers and sisters, an is muhaffafa. It's lighter form. Eh? It is the lighter form of anna. Are you with me? Lighter form of anna. Okay? We haven't studied this in detail, but someday, inshallah, we will study. Uh, you know, lakinna and then lakin. So the lakin is the lighter form. Similarly, enna and anna also have a lighter forms. So here, an is the lighter form of anna, which means that. Okay. Badama yadunani kullasan. After they thought in all their thoughts, what they thought, brothers and sisters? And that there will be no meeting. There will be absolutely no meeting. So this is la nafiyatu lil jins. Eh? Okay, it negates everything in the noun. Meeting, absolutely no meeting at all. Okay, in any circumstances, in any way. So if brothers and sisters, la is la nafia to lil jins, where is this mula nafia? Talakia. Talakia is this mula nafia to lil jins. Where is the khabar? Khabar is mazuf. And what is that khabar? I just wrote it down. Bainahuma. Now you translate brothers and sisters. Sometimes Allah makes two people meet, uh, gathers them together, those two who have been separated. After they, the separated people thought and in their, all their thoughts uh, that there will be no meeting between two of them. But if Allah wills, Allah brings them together. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Akmil hadhil jumlata. Sajashtu. Sajashtu, brothers and sisters. We have to bring mafulun mutlak. Al adad. And now. And ta'akid. I will write down. Inshallah, and you will copy it if you want to. First is Adad.
Kardayne Han Sisters. Sajattu Sajadatan Vahidatan. This is the master? Yes. This is Masterul Marathi. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So what will you say? This is Libayani Adad. Huh? Then Sajattu Sujuda Khashi'in. I prostrated huh? with a Sajda of Kushu. Huh? Humility. Huh? So what will you say to this? Libayani now. And now, Sajattu Sujudan. Now, this is for Taqid. Got the idea? So, this is how it is. Huh? Inshallah, you'll copy it. Huh? When ponder over it, brothers and sisters. Number seven, it's, uh, you can do it at home, but if you have difficulty, uh, please don't worry. Just look at the Hello Tamarin and you will find all the answers beautifully given by Dr. Abdurrahim there, inshallah. Hati misalan likul lima yanubu alan mafulun mutlak. So everything, there are about nine things that we have studied. Now you have to bring your own example. And if you find it difficult, just don't worry. Look to the Hello Tamarin and see the answers there. And you will get a good, good idea, inshallah. It will further strengthen your knowledge and understanding, inshallah. Hati Salasata Amsilatin Lil Master Naib Anfi Alihi. What kind of example Dr. Abdurrahim is asking for? al mastarun naib an Very easy, brothers and sisters. Number one example. If I say one example, you will do everything. Shukran. What is shukran? Okay. al mastarun naib an So you got to give three examples. Sabran. Afwan, huh? are you with me? Or, don't forget, Mahalan, huh? that's all. But write down after each verb the fiel that has been deputized. Huh? So, shukran, ashkuru, huh? sabran, isbir, mahalan, imhal. That's all you have to do, brothers and sisters. Now, Darabtuhu Darbatan. We had already read the whole thing in English and we are going to read it quickly, inshallah. Darbatun Misalun Li Master Masterul Marrati. Well, Masterul Marrati, who am I? Yuskaruli Bayani Adadil Fiali. It describes the time the action took place. Huh? Wa yubna min fi'al salasi mujrat ala wazni fa'alatun. And it is built in the three letter verb on the pattern of fa'alatun. Bi fatah al fa'i. What is the meaning of fatah al fa'i? The fa'a kalima will have fatah. Wa sukunu aini. And then ain kalima will get a sukun. So it is fa'alatun. Nahu. Darabtuhu, darbatan, vadarbataini, vadarabatin. These are all the examples of Mastarul Marrati. There are more examples Dr. Sahib gave us in the key in English. So, inshallah, you can check it. But, and sister, but we have already done the whole thing yesterday. I'm just reading the Arabic part of it. Vatul hakutawu bi mastaril fail gari sulasil mujarrid. Now, if the master is from mas, uh, uh, mazid fihi, if the master is from mazid fihi, okay, then how do you make the master marra? Uh, by adding ta. For example, kabbara, yukabbiru, what is the master? 
takbir. But then, if you want to make it into master marrati, then you will say takbira tun. That's all. Huh? Kabbara takbiratan nukabbiru arba takbiratin fi salati ala maiti. We uh, say four times Allahu Akbar huh? when we pray a salah, when, when we pray funeral prayer. Huh? وَإِذَا كَانَ بِنَاهُ الْمَسْتَرِ الْأَسْلِ بِتَاعِ ذُكِرَ بَعْدَهَا مَا يَدُلُّ عَلَىٰ عَدَاتِ Now, the meaning of this is, brothers and sisters, are you with me? The meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? If the master is already built with ta marbuta, okay, if the master is already built with ta marbuta, okay, for example, rahima. Yarhamu, what is the master? Rahmatun or Rahmatan. No, there is already Tamar Buta there. So when you use Rahmatan, then you have to describe the number also after one. Okay? For example, Rahimtuhu, Rahmatan, Wahidatan. When will you use this Wahidatan or any other number? When the master already has a Tamar Buddha built in it. Got the idea, brother and sister? Akamtu ikamatan vahidatan. Brothers and sisters, akamtu. What is the meaning of akamtu? I stayed. What is the verb? Akama yukimu. And what is the master of akama? Ikama tun. So already the Tamar Buddha is there. So if you are using that ta marbuta and you have to describe as a number, then you have to use the number after it. Got the idea, brother and sister? So akimtu ikamatan wahidatan. What is the meaning of this sentence, brothers and sisters? I stayed one time, one stay. Huh? Next one, brother and sister, look at this. Tarjama yutarjimu. What is the meaning of tarjama yutarjimu? He, he translated. Oh, fine, brother. Tarjamtul kitaba. Translation, brother? Okay. What is the master of Tarjama? Tarjamatun. Are you with me? Tarjamatun. Now, if you have to use Tarjamatun and then you have to describe, then you got to put a number of on it. Huh? Okay. It means that if you describe this as a Mastarul Marrati, then you got to describe a number also after it. Is it clear, inshallah? Read the whole sentence, brothers and sisters. Tarjamtul Kitaba Tarjamatan Wahidatan. Huh? I translate the book. One more, and then we'll take a break, inshallah. Sug, form. Saga huh? Yasugu, Sug, form. Master al Marrati, min afal al Atiyati, Wakafa, Wakfatun, Akala, Aklatun, Jalasa, Jalsatun, Sallama Yusallimu, Tasli, Matun. Because it is from Mazid Fihi, you have to add Tamar Buddha. If you just make normal master, not masterul marra, then what will be your no normal master? Taslimun. Are you with me? Now you make masterul marra, then you will say taslima tun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Let us take a break and we come back and finish the lesson, inshallah. Number 10, brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. Energized and refreshed. Number 10 is your Mastarul Hayati. Master of manner. What is it, brothers and sisters? Manner. In what manner the action is taking place. Ageless Jilsata Talibi Ilmin. Sit like a 
student who has come to seek knowledge, you know, means sit with discipline. Jilsata misalun li masterul hayati. Masterul hayati ma yuzkaru li dalalati ala hayatil fiel wa sifatihi. It describes, brother, how was the action done, its quality. Are you with me, brother and sister? It describes the quality of action. Vajusagu, and it is formed, ala vazni fi alatin. Bi kasrin, the fa karima has a kasra, fa sukunin, and then followed by sukun. Jilsatun min jalasa. So whether asha ya ishu, and then it is ishatun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So here is the passage from Quran. Fit tanzili, fa'amma man sakulat mawadinuhu, fahuwa fi ishatin radiatin. Here there is no mention of maful mutlaq or anything. Huh? We are only this, Dr. Sahib is only explaining us uh, uh, masterul hayati, huh? the master of manner. That's all. Huh? man sakulat What is the meaning of this sentence, brother? That who, the person whose good deeds are a lot. Sakulat huh? means his aymal are all pious, righteous, huh? then he will be in a very satisfied life, in a very satisfied state in the hereafter, inshallah. For fil hadisi, faiza kataltum, if you kill, slaughter an animal, how do you kill? For ahsinu, this is your this is what is Ahsinu? Amar from Ahsana Yuhsinu, form 4. Kitlata. Huh? Huh? That you should kill it in a way that there is a le less uh, pain to the thing that you are killing. Hmm? So Kitlata is, you know, the way you kill some, some, something, you know. Waminal Amsali, Waminal Amsali. What is the meaning of Minal Amsali? From the Proverbs. Huh? There is a proverb. What is that proverb, brothers and sisters? A Hashafan Wasua Kilatin. Now there is a deeper meaning into this, brothers and sisters. Wahashafan Wasua Kilatin. So, where is the master Hayya? Kilatin. Al Hashafu, brothers and sisters, Ardau Tamri. What is Ardau? Huh? What is Ardau? No. <laughs> brothers and sisters, Ardau is Ismu Tafdil. I'm going to write it on the board, huh? inshallah. What did I write on? Radiyun. In Urdu you say radi. Means it's not good. Huh? Radiyun means something which is not good. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Now make ismu tafdil. Afa'alu. You make afa'alu. How will you do it now? Ar da. Like the idea? Radi means not good. Okay? And Ardau means it's worst. Okay? So it is not form 4, it is a smooth of deal from Radi on. 
Actually, there are two dots here, brothers and sisters. This is on the vazan of Fa'ilun. Radhi'un is on the vazan of Fa'ilun. So, Al Hashafu Ardau Tamari, the verse of the decks. Yudrabu Hazal Maslu, this example is given. Liman Yajmau Haslataini, who has got two characteristics or two qualities. Makru What is the meaning of this? Two bad qualities. Two objectionable qualities. Are you with me? A person who has got two obje objectionable qualities, then you give this example. What is that example? A hashafan wasuwa kilatin. What is the takadiru kalami of a hashafan wasuwa kilatin? What is it, brother? Atabiu hashafan. Atabiu hashafan. What is the meaning of it? You sell worse kind of dates. Watakilu suwa kilatin. And then also you cheat people in the weight. You are already selling dates which are not good in eating. Uh, they are not of good quality. They are worse quality. And on top of, the, top of that, you try to give him uh, less weight. What kind of a person are you? So a person who has got two objectionable qualities, then this uh, misal is referred to his two qualities. What is that, brothers and sisters? Atabeu hashafan that you sell worse quality of dates. Watakilu kala yakilu, su akilati, and then even in the weighing you are not fair, you are cheating. So, kilatin, brothers and sisters, is your masarul haya. Kala shairu. This is very beautiful. Uh, poetry, brothers and sisters. Mashaina Mishata Laisi. But the Laifu is the lion. Huh? Al Asadu. Mashaina Mishata Laisi Gada. Mashaina Mishata Laisi Gada. What is the meaning of Gada? Gada, Yagudu. Huh? Sara Fisrah. You go out in the morning. Sara Yashiru to walk. Sara fi sabah. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? That is the meaning of Kada. Walaithu ghadabanu. This describes a mujahid who goes out in the path of Allah in the morning to, to serve him. And when he goes out, how does it go out? In what manner? He goes out in the manner of a lion who goes out, out, out of his den in the morning. And he's very angry. And he's walking in a very stately manner. Why is he angry, brother? He's hungry. <laughs> he needs food. The lion needs food in the morning. So the shire says, Mashaina, we walked. How we walked? Mishatal Laisi, like a lion. <laughs> when? Gada. Huh? In the morning. Okay. And? And the lion is angry. Okay, So, what is interesting for us here? Mishyata. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That is, what is Mishyata? Mastaril Hayyata. 
Uh, inshallah you'll remember. Al-Laythu huh? al-Asadu. Jama luyuthun. Fine. Sug mastar al-Hayyati min al-Afwal al-Atiyati. Asha ishatun. Mata mata yamutu mitatun. Mitatun. Mita tun, or you can say mita tan if you want to say. Huh? Isha tan, mita tan. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Okay, and what is next one? Jalasa, jilsatan. Jalasa, jilsatan. Katala, kitlatan. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Do you want me to write it? You can manage it. Me, Tatan, you'll be able to write it, brothers and sisters. I will write it for you. Huh? Me, Tatan. Hmm? Inshallah. That's it, brothers and sisters. What next, brothers and sisters? La Yubna Mastarul Hayati. Mastarul Hayya is not built. Ghair Salasil Mujarid. Uh, you cannot make it from the verb which is not sulasi mujarat. It is only made in the, on this pattern from sulasi mujarat. Right? Not in madid fihi. You don't have this master. Okay. Now we come to the next one, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> we come to the next one. There are some beautiful verses of the Quran. Ayyamun kala bin yan kalibuna. Ayyamun kala bin yan kalibuna. Mun kala bun misalun li master mimi. This is the example of master mimi. Fine. Wa huwa ma kana fil awwalihi mimun zaida. It is an extra mim. Now, for example, brother, and I explained to you, brothers and sisters, that master mimi is an other master of a verb which already has a master in it. Okay? For example, daraba yadribu darbun. There is a master, darbun. And then you make madarabun. Now, that is your master mimi. Okay? Wa mamatu. Okay? Wa marifatun. Wa makdiratun. Wa ma'idun. So these are all examples of master mimi. Wa min gair sulasi mujarit. Yati ala zinati ismil mafool. Yati ala zinati ismil mafool. What is the meaning of that? But Zinati is also the master from Vazana Yazinu. It has got two masters, Vaznun and Zinatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We have studied this before. I'm not going to repeat it. Zinati means Vazni. Okay? So if it is not fair Sulasi, brothers and sisters, Mujarit, then in the mazid fihi, it comes on the pattern of ismul maf'ul, huh? which is munkalabun and mukamun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It's very easy for us to just remember that when you make uh, uh, master, uh, it is on the pattern of ismul maf'ul. Huh? Which we will call it, what you will call it? Masar Mimi. Are you with me? Mun Kalabun. What is Mun Kalabun? What is verb? In Kalaba. Make a master of In Kalaba. In Kilab. That is the master. You make Master Mimi. Then it is on the pattern of Isam Mafool. That's it. We got to remember, inshallah. Okay. Now, Fittanzili. Now, this is a very beautiful verse of the Quran, brothers and sisters. 
وقال الذين كفروا those who disbelieved said وقال الذين قال is the verb brother where is the file الذين is the file والكفروا is your jumla failure سلط الموصول now this ayah has its importance brothers and sisters you know why because when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was preaching to the Kuffars of Mecca with the message that there is only one God, but that's not enough. There is one God and you will have to answer for all your deeds uh, of this life. You are answerable for everything that you do. And when that will take place, there will be Yomu Kayama. The day of judgment, huh? the day of reward and punishment. So here we are living this life and then we die and our body is totally disintegrated. Are you with me? It is totally disintegrated. Okay, the bones, everything. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I will again give you life. I'll bring you back, okay, and then you will answer to everything that you have done in this life. Now this is the fundamental belief of a Muslim, uh, that we believe there is a Yawm al and we will all be resurrected. Anybody who does not believe this, he cannot call himself a Muslim, okay. Now, when Kufar heard this message, they could, you know, understand, of, of course, okay, there is a God, huh? there is a supreme deity, because they believed there is a supreme deity. The word Allahu was there in their uh, idea, you know, except that they had so many other idols, and what was the purpose of their worshipping them? They said that they will take them closer to God. They will go to God through the way of these idols. That was their belief. All this is mentioned in the Quran. Even what I am saying now is mentioned in the Quran, brothers and sisters. The one thing that they found it very hard to digest. What was that thing, brother? That after we are dead, we are going to be raised again. This idea did not... Uh, sink with them. They had doubts. Uh, and then they said, this is impossible. Then once we are dead, and we are totally, totally disintegrated, then you mean to say we are going to be, all our forefathers who have di died centuries ago, they will all be raised? No, 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 no. This, this man, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, has definitely gone mad. He is majnoon. He has been possessed by the jinn. So they used to mock at Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Huh? They used to mock at Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That whenever he would pass, they will say, here goes the man who has been possessed by jinn. Okay? So this ayah describes that. Huh? Look at it, brothers and sisters. See, we have to understand each and every word. Huh? And then, inshallah, it will make a lot of sense to us. Kafaru, the people who disbelieved in all that was being uh, told by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Should we indicate to you that man, a person, Allah Rajulin? You nabbi ukum. He informs you. Nabba'a, you nabbi u. What is the meaning of Naba? Akhbara. Yukhbiru. To inform. Huh? Who informs you? What does he do? Is a muzziktum. Kulla mumazzikin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is the verb? Mazzaka. Form to. Yumazziku. So, what kind of verb is this? Is a Muzikatum. What is it? Let me write it down. Huh, brother?
Majhur. What is this? Ida muziktum. Kulla. What is kulla here? Mafulun mutlak. Where is the actual mafulun mutlak? Mumazakin. Mumazakin. What is mumazakin? This is okay. Naibon mafulun mutlak. Kulla is naibon mafulun mutlak. That when you are totally disintegrated, huh? when your bones and your flesh and everything has been shredded and torn, okay? In nakum lafi khalkin jadidin, you will again, you will be made alive. So this is how they mockingly used to point out to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and say, you know, huh? Hal nadullukum ala rajulin. Should we indicate to you, to a man, yunabiyukum, he informs you, that when you are totally disintegrated, totally, totally disintegrated, fa innakum lafi khalkin jadid. Innakum lafi khalkin jadid. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Innakum, kum is ismu inna. Where is the khabar? Lafi. Khalkin Jadid. This is how they used to mockingly point out to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because this was a very difficult for them to accept. Okay. Probably it is true today. Many of the Kufars don't believe that there is a resurrection. They believe this is the life. We enjoy it and when it ends, it ends. They are not ready for the Yom al -Qayama. They do not believe in it. Now I point out one more thing to you, brothers and sisters. Nadullukum ala rajulin. See, now I am trying to analyze. Okay? Hal nadullukum ala rajulin. Sister Sukhaina. Rajulin. What is rajulin? Rajulin. Rajulin. It is. Majroor, huh? it is majroor, huh? fine, but it is indefinite. Is it indefinite? Yes. And what has come after that? A jumla. So what will, that, what will be the value of that jumla? It will be naad. Are you with me? Hal nadullukum ala rajulin. Rajulin, now the naad comes for that rajulin. What kind of a person? A person who informs you that when you are totally disintegrated, you will be created as a new person. So this whole Jumla failure, are you with me sisters, brothers? This whole Jumla failure, Brother Hassan, is coming as a nath for Rajulain. This is the way, inshallah, we will be analyzing. Inshallah, we will learn more about this in lesson 31, inshallah. Because when you are learning to differentiate between Jumla coming as a Hal and a Jumla coming as a Naat. That will come in lesson 31. Very interesting lesson, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Next one, brothers and sisters. وَجَعَلْنَاهُمْ أَحَادِيثَ وَمَذَّكْنَاهُمْ كُلَّ مُمَذَّكِنَ Again the same thing. Huh? Kulla has come, which is Mafulun Mutlaq. We have made them into a tales that is told all the time, you know, and we disperse them all in scattered fragments, you know. Now, brothers and sisters, we come to the last thing of the uh, lesson, which is also very easy, but I want to show you something, inshallah. Number 12. Please do one thing. Huh? I want you to do something that will make your understanding even better. What is the sentence, brothers and sisters? Al Mastarul Lazi Yulaki Filish Tikak. Brother, put this into a circle. This should have been the heading of the, this section. 
what should it have been? The heading. The way it is now, it is kind of a confusing. This is the heading of that section number 12. What is it, brothers and sisters? Al Mastaru Al Yulaki Filishtikak. This is the heading. Now, the next sentence is the explanation of that. The next Sentence should not have been joined, but it should have been after that, in the next line. Okay, what is that next line, brothers and sisters? Al Mastarul Waqiu, Mafulul Mutlak, Shayani. Okay, the, the Mastar which occurs as a Mafulul Mutlak is of two kinds. Number one, brothers and sisters, Mastarun min Babin Mukhtalifin, Nahwa. Tabattal ilehi tabtilan. This is one kind. What is this kind, brothers and sisters? That the both of the verb and the master are from mazid fihi, but the verb is from a different verb and the master is from a different verb. That's it, brothers and sisters. Fa tabtilun min bab fa ala. Nab an. It deputized Tabatulun. Are you with me? It should have been Tabatulun. It became Tabatilun. Tabatulun min bab tafa ala. Okay. Eleika mithalaini akhiraini. Here is different example. Brother, also from Quran. Brothers and sisters, law is a shart. Huh? Had Allah okay, hastened for the people the evil. Ajjala yuajjilu is to hasten, to hurry up. Huh? See, one can explain this ayah in a different way, brothers and sisters. I'll try to explain you in a very brief way. When we do good deeds, what do we want? We want our reward right away. Eh? We want reward very quickly. Okay, But we also make mistakes. We don't want to be punished. Eh? Okay, but if Allah were to uh, okay, bring down or hasten with the things that we have done wrong, the way he does with the things which are right. Uh, see, Allah rewards us for good deeds in this life also. Okay, Allah hastens with rewarding us for good deeds in this life. Okay, but if we were to hasten to to punish us for the our mistakes, we would have no chance to stay. We should, our life should come to an end. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? This is one explanation. Okay, I will read it to you. If God were to hasten for men the ill they have earned, as they would rather hasten on the good, hmm, then their respite will be settled at once. No more respite. No more extra time. Finished. Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, there's another point here. That sometimes we curse other people. And we try to bring bad things on them. Or the kuffars of Makkah. When they heard all these things that Prophet was preaching, so in their arrogance they said if what you are saying is correct then bring down the day of judgment on us huh? bring down all the calamities that you are promising that will happen why not now no this is another side of the explanation you will find this explained in different places okay but what I explained you brother it makes little more sense that we always want that good things that we do, we want the rewards right away. Huh? Okay. But if Allah were to bring the punishment also for our 
bad deeds, then there will be no respite for us. There will be no respite for us. So here it is explained this way, brothers and sisters. Wallahu yu'ajjilu Allah lennasi sharra istiyajalahum bi khair as he hastens with the khair. Okay, brothers and sisters, yu'ajjilu. What is the master? Tajilun. Tajilun. And what is this? Istiyajal. Huh? What is it? Form 10. Brother. So we have the verb which is form 2 and the master is from form 10. Did you get the idea brothers and sisters? So what will you say? Al mastaru yulakihi felishtikak. That is the meaning of it. Okay. Another example. This, this ayah is from Surah Yunus. Okay. Let us finish the ayah, brothers and sisters. Wallahu yu'ajjilu Allahu lennasi sharra istiyajalahum bil khair. As he hastens with the khair. Okay. La kudiyya ilayhim ajalahum. Then his, the time would have been decreed and that's it. No more. But brother, this is a love. Allah does not do this way. Okay. Tabassamtu. What is the meaning of tabassamtu? I smile. How did you smile? Ibti saman. What is ibti saman? Form 8. The verb is form 5 and the master is from form 8. Huh? So ibti saman is also your mafulun mutlaq. Huh? But it is al mastaru yulakihi filishtika. Fine. Now, number. Uh, second brother ba mastarun min fail al mujarrid yanubu anil master min mazid the master is from form 1 and it is deputizing uh, the master from mazid fihi brother and sisters I would like to finish this and then inshallah tomorrow we'll start the new lesson huh? and you will try to read the new lesson it's very easy we'll be able to finish this in one hour tomorrow inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala Brother, brothers and sisters what is subhanahu huh? this is maful mutlaq how will you describe it? Al Mastaru Naib Anfi Ali. What is the meaning of Subhanahu? I'm going to go in little detail. Huh? Okay? I'm going to go in little detail. Okay, brother and sister. Here is the master. Huh? This is the verb. What is brothers and sisters? Subha Nahu. Okay, we put here Nahu. Because we always say Subha Naka, Subha Nahu, A Subha Nallahi, Nusabbihu. Now this is not mentioned. Only the master is mentioned. The verb is not mentioned. Like Shukran, Ashkuru is not mentioned. Huh? Only shukran is mentioned. When you say subhanahu, so subhanahu, brother and sister, is okay, the master, and where is the verb? Nusabbihu. Means we glorify. Are you with me? Now here I have to add very quickly, brother and sisters. Sabbaha yusabbihu. What is the master? Tasbi. So instead of tasbih, we are saying subhana. Again the same thing. Okay? The verb is from form mazid fihi, form 2, and the master is from form 1. Huh? Sabaha. Yasbahu, to swim. And what is the meaning of sabaha? What is the meaning of swimming, brother? 
you keep yourself afloat. Are you with me? So when you say sabbaha means now you are keeping something afloat. Remember one thing, brother. Sabaha is intransitive. It has no mafulun bi. You bring it in form two, it becomes transitive. Sabaha means you keep something afloat. Are you with me? Sabaha, you sabbihu. No, that is the literal meaning. But the verb sabaha is used as to sing the praise of Allah or to glorify and sing the praise. That is the meaning of sabbaha you sabbihu. But if you were to go into the root of it, then it means you are keeping something afloat, high. You are not letting it come down. So sabbaha you sabbihu means, you know, you are glorifying Allah. How are you glorifying Allah? That he is high and above of all kinds of associativity. Associativity and and brother, undivine attributes that people, people put on Allah. He is above all that. Are you with me? That is the meaning, brother. Or you can say, he is high and above over all the imperfection. Above all kinds of imperfection and blemish. Huh? Or you can say, high and above all kinds of associativity and undivine attributes. Uh, because people give uh, qualities of Allah, the attributes of Allah to others. So we are saying when you say Subhanallah, it means you are praising Allah and keeping Him afloat. Uh, that He is high and above. Of all the things that people talk about, uh, Allah and, and give those attributes of divinity and perfection to a other deity. That is the meaning of Subhanallah. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Subhanahu, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. What is the meaning of Ta'ala? He is exalted. Amma huh? yakuluna. Huh? Uh, what the people say about it? Huh? Amma is anma. Are you with me? Amma yakuluna. Okay. And then what is the next one, brother? Uluvan kabiran. Okay. No, brother. Uluvan. Now I have to tell you more things, huh, brother. Let me write it, inshallah. This will be a good revision for you. Ta'ala. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What form is this? Form 6. What is the root word, brother? Allah. What will be the mudharia? What will be the master? Uluh huh? one. Okay. Allah yalu. Fil nakis alwawi. Actually, it is ain, lam, wow. Fine, brother and sister. So that is your base form. Ta'ala. What is mudariya, brother and sisters? Ya ta'ala. Fine, brother and sisters. Now make master. Ta'alin. 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 Excellent. Sister Hafza, may Allah bless you. Bless all of us, inshallah. What is actually ta'ala? Ta'alin. Huh? You know how to do it because we did it just a little while ago. Huh? Ta'alin is your master. But we are not using this master. What are we using? Uluvun we are using. Uluvun kabi, uluvan kabiran. Uluvan 
Kabiran. Got the idea? So how will you translate now? So here we have brothers and sisters, Subhanahu, which is again Al Mastaru, Naib, unfairly, and then Ulu one will be your Al Mastaru Yulakihi Felishtikak. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So how, what is the meaning of this ayah? And brothers and sisters, and how will you describe it, okay? As we said, Subhanallahi or Subhanahu means Nusabbihu, we glorify Allah. Huh? And He is the High. Above all that they say, Wa Ta'ala Amma Yakulun. And He's high above all that say, Amma Yakulun. Got the idea? But how high is? By an enormous highness. Huh? By an enormous highness. How high is it? Beyond measure. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, where do you say beyond measure or enormous high? And that is your Uluwan Kabiran. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. So, Uluwun Yanubu and Ta'alin. You got the idea? See, Ta'alin is mentioned. It should have been Ta'alin. Kabiran. But had it been Ta'alin, we would have said Ta'aliyan. Mansub. Huh? Okay? Kabiran. Ta'aliyan. Kabiran. But we did not say Ta'aliyan. What did we say? Uluwan. Huh? So the master is from form 1 and the verb Ta'ala is from form 6. Huh? Inshallah you got it. Now there are three more examples. Huh? What are the examples, brother? Uhibullah Hubban Jamman. So again, Hubban is from form 1, and the verb Uhibbu is from form 4. Huh? Got the idea? So the same scenario, brothers and sisters, Al Mastaru Yulakihi Pelishtika. Okay. tu Saata. I bought the watch. Huh? Shira'an. Brother, Shara Yashri. This is from the base form. Huh? What is the master of? Ishtara, Ishtira'un. We did not use that master. We used the master from form one. Okay. Here, another nice word, brother and sister. Tuwufiya Fulanun. Tuwufiya is majhul. Means he died. Someone died. Wafatan. Tabi'iyatan. What is the meaning of Tabi'iyatan? He died a natural death. Huh? He died a natural death. But brothers and sisters, Tuhufiya, well, it is form 5. What is the master? Tawafin. What will be the master? Tawafin. Tawafa, ya tawafa, tawaf. Fin, got the idea. But we did not use that mustard. What mustard did you use? Wafatan. From one. Wafa yafi. Wafa yafi. We use uh, that verb. And mustard from wafatan. Tabiyatan. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. We spent a lot of time. But I believe it was worth spending that time. Now you cannot say, I don't understand. Inshallah, you understand fully. Huh? If some of you are still a little uh, not very clear, the revision will make it very clear, Inshallah. Huh? And if you have any questions, you can ask me, huh, brothers and sisters. Okay. Rabbana atina fi dunya asanatam wa fil akhirati asanatam wa kina adhab nar. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم وتوب علينا إنك أنت تواب رحيم 
سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون وسلامون على المرسلين والحمد لله